And now to that incredible rescue, all thanks to a very smart app for your smartphone. A watch this big dance bring it into action. Hi, I'm Superintendent Christy Perry from Salem-Kaiser School District. In 2015, the Oregon Legislature passed Senate Bill 79, making Oregon the 23rd state to require students to learn CPR before high school graduation. It was a challenge to coordinate this large, yet important mandate into our district. I was grateful when the Salem Fire Foundation and the Salem Fire Department came to us offering to provide in-school CPR and AED use to approximately 3,500 of our 8th grade students annually. Firefighters have trained thousands of students in how to recognize someone experiencing a sudden cardiac arrest and how to find a publicly accessible AED and do hands-only CPR. Since the partnership started, they have trained thousands of our middle school students. We already know of multiple situations where this training has saved lives. We want to make sure all students have access to this critical training. If for any reason students are not able to attend this training in person, whether it be virtual learning during the worldwide pandemic, students in our Online Academy Edge, students with an illness, or almost any reason someone might miss a day of school, this video will serve as a way to make sure our students meet that requirement. Students, congratulations for taking the time to learn about hands-only CPR and AED use. You can save a life. Some of our Salem-Kaiser students already have. Encourage your parents, friends, and siblings to join in with you so they can share in your learning. Parents and caregivers, thank you for encouraging your students as they become capable and skilled community members. The lives they save may just be someone in your own family. Remind them to watch the video to the very end to learn how they can get a copy of their completion certificate. Hi, I'm Salem Fire Chief Mike Niblock, and I'd like to share with you why participating in this virtual training is so important. Did you know that over 1,000 people die each day from sudden cardiac arrest in the United States? If a family member or someone else experiences a sudden cardiac arrest in your presence, do you know what to do? Their very survival depends on the actions you take next. Every second counts. This virtual training will teach you how to perform hands-only cardiopulmonary resuscitation, better known as CPR, and how to use an automatic external defibrillator, or AED, if one is available nearby. Performing hands-only CPR and applying a life-saving shock with an AED can triple the chances for survival from a sudden cardiac arrest. Learning these two emergency life-saving procedures prepares you to be ready in those critical seconds if someone nearby has a sudden cardiac arrest. Remember, over 1,000 people per day experience this critical emergency, and now you will be trained and ready to save a life. Together, we will make a big difference. Thank you for taking the time to learn these important life-saving skills. Welcome, my name is Willie Giddings. I'm a captain paramedic with Salem Fire Department and we're here today to teach you how to do hands-only CPR. We're also gonna teach you how to use an AED, which is the Automated External Defibrillator. Let's get right to it. The first step you need to do when learning CPR is scene safety. You need to keep yourself safe. So the first thing you do is look around, look around the scene to see if there's anything that could potentially hurt you, like a moving vehicle or something falling off a ladder. We don't want you getting hurt when you're trying to help somebody else. Look around to make sure there's nothing that's gonna hurt the rescuer. We kneel next to the victim and we tap and shout. Hey, hey, are you okay? Can you hear me? Hearing no response, we point to somebody to call 911 and get the AED. 
Go call 911 and get the AED. Then we're gonna look over the victim to see if they are moving or if they are breathing. Once you determine the victim is not moving or breathing, you're gonna expose the chest and you're gonna start hands only CPR. You're gonna place one hand over top of the other hand in the center of the chest over top of the sternum and you're gonna move over top of the victim. Your knees are gonna be shoulder widths apart, keeping to ensure that your elbows are locked into position. You're gonna compress down on the chest two inches and come back up two inches. The reason for that is we're pushing down the two inches so we squeeze that heart and the blood goes out into the brain and lungs and we wanna recoil two inches so we allow that heart to refill with blood before we push it down again. Now we're gonna do two minutes of CPR following along with the music, compressing at a rate of 120 beats per minute. Okay, we're gonna start our compressions on three, two, one. Good compressions. You wanna compress that chest two inches, coming back off the chest two inches, allowing that chest to fully recoil. We're pushing hard and we're pushing fast. Okay, we're going a little fast, so slower down. Good. We are 40 seconds in. Got a minute and 20 seconds to go. Remember, we are somebody's heartbeat right now. Don't stop, we're compressing at a rate of 120 beats per minute. That way we can push the blood to the vital organs like the lungs and the brain. Thirty more seconds to go, you're almost there. A good way to remember how to do CPR is we follow the rules of two. We're using two hands, we compress two inches, come back off the chest two inches, and we compress two a second, and then we try to switch out every two minutes because we get tired. Two minutes. So you're continuing CPR, you're pressing hard and fast. Two inches down, two inches up, the AED has arrived. I have the AED. So the first step in operating the AED is you turn it on. It turns the AED on and follows the Apply prompts. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. Plug in pads connector next to flashing The whole light. time somebody is compressing, the person that is applying the AED is working around the compressor. We don't want to stop the compressions. Once the pads are in place, we plug it into the analyzing AED heart rhythm. and then we stop and why they're analyzing. Do not touch the patient. This takes a few seconds, which is normal. Shock advised. Everyone stay clear. Charging. Stay clear of patient. Everyone clear? I'm clear? Deliver shock now. Press the orange button now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. Now she's going to start compressions again once the shock has been delivered. So that way we are keeping in uh, rhythm with the AED. And press harder. There you go. You want to hear that click. I'd like to explain in more detail how to use your AED or automated external defibrillator. In every Salem Kaiser school, there's at least one AED, some have two. So this is an example of a real AED that you could find in your school or out in public. 
The AED is operated as the same one that you just used as the trainer, is the first step you do is turn the AED on. These AEDs have two choices. You could turn the on off button here or open this flap and that will access the pads and automatically turn it on. Each AED as well comes with a pair of scissors so you could remove the clothing to access the chest so you can put the pads on the bare chest. The other things that come with the AED is typically a, a pair of gloves. They come with a pocket mask, which we are not focusing on doing breathing. We are doing hands only CPR. So most of the time we are not using this. They have a razor and no, this is not a razor to shave yourself. This is a razor to shave somebody that might have a hairy chest. We call it a sweater after you take the sweater off. And all you have to do is take this out of the package and you just have to do a quick shave to get a spot where you can place the pads. It only takes a couple seconds and you're able to put the pads on. Last but not least is there's a pad in here. So if the victim, say you pull them out of water or it's raining outside and they're wet, so when you access their chest, their chest is wet, you take this and you could dry it off so the pads can make a good connection. The AED is designed to use on anybody. Doesn't matter their age, their size, you could put an AED on everybody. It's not gonna hurt. There is a couple special considerations though. If you're using this AED on a kid, a small kid where the pads are gonna be too close and they might be touching, they say to put one pad on the top of the chest and one pad on the back. That way the pads aren't touching. The other thing is you might see somebody with a pacemaker, an implanted pacemaker or a defibrillator. It looks like almost like a lump underneath their skin. When you place the pads, you don't want to place that over top. Place it just slightly away from about an inch away. Other than that, these are foolproof. They're not gonna shock somebody that has a pulse. They're not gonna shock somebody that's talking to you. So these are designed to be put on people that are unconscious and not breathing, that is when you're using an AED. So we've covered a lot of information in a short amount of time. We wanted to take this time to train you how to do the most important part to save anybody's life. One is hands-only CPR, and two is use of an AED. Last thing that we'd like to talk about today is the potential of you looking at being a firefighter paramedic as a career. It is a great program up at the West Salem High School. You can look at being an EMT or a firefighter and you can even get credits before you graduate to being a firefighter paramedic as a career. Hello, I'm Mary Louise Van Atta and I'm proud to be the Executive Director of the Salem Fire Foundation. The vision of our nonprofit is to enhance public safety and quality of life in our community and to support the Salem Fire Department and all our firefighters in their mission to save lives. By watching this video training, you have joined thousands of others in learning CPR and how to use an AED. You've taken your first step in being able to save a life if you are a witness to a sudden cardiac arrest. To receive your certificate and special recognition gift, please do the following. Go to our website at SalemFireFoundation.org. There you'll see a program tab. Click on CPR training for students and there you will find a survey where you can answer some questions about this video. Once you've completed it and submitted it, we will send you a confirmation email with your certificate. Make sure to download the PulsePoint app on your phone and agree to be notified if someone near you needs assistance. We encourage you to attend an in-person training and learn more about how you can save lives. And from California tonight, a reunion between a man who nearly died and the man who saved his life. And what brought them together, a simple phone app that its makers hope will save other lives as well. Here's ABC's David Wright. A life or death emergency on this California soccer field for 62-year-old Fareed Rashdi. I had the a cardiac arrest and my heart just stopped. Lucky for him, help was just across the street. 
So I was about to sit down to dinner, and I received a CPR alert on my phone. Trainee paramedic Walter Huber subscribes to PulsePoint, kind of like Uber for CPR, an app that connects people with life-saving skills with people who need help right now. So even as the first responders race to the scene, Huber was already there. So I immediately started CPR. The app connects straight to the 911 call center in 1,100 communities nationwide, using location data from cell phones to alert nearby volunteers. I gather that minutes matter. Definitely minutes matter. Seconds matter, and Pulse Point can cut response time by 10 minutes. Are you at all worried that people will respond who don't know what they're doing? You know, our, our concern is really is, will people who are trained, will they engage? Will they be willing to respond? Hi! This weekend, Fareed Rashti and his hero had a tearful reunion. I'm kind of speechless right now, <laughs> seeing you uh, yeah. alive and well. It's Saving crazy. lives, thanks to a smartphone. Give me a hug again. And a good Samaritan. David Wright, ABC News, San Ramon, California. Remember, seconds count. Whose life will you save today? Thank you for watching.